Ha yes, air power, that one failed Apple device. It was thought to be the greatest innovation in wireless charging, but ended up being the greatest failure. As we're all aware, there are a very small number of these floating out there. But a question is, how do you actually get air power to charge a device? Given that these are all prototypes, there's not exactly a user's manual that you can just open up. And because it also runs prototype software, the coils don't automatically turn on. But you may have seen videos of prototype air powers that do charge devices, but the people who manage to get them to work don't reveal how they do it. But after a lot of research and trial and error, I'm pleased to announce that I was able to figure out the commands to get air power to work. And I'll show how I did it. So the first thing that I needed to do was figure out a way to communicate with the air power. I won't go into too much depth in this video because I actually collaborated with 91 Tech on a very historical take on air power and we went into the whole serial process of how to interface with the air power and whatnot. So just to avoid repeating a lot of information, we're going to skip that part. So the first command that we run on the air power is get startup commands. The startup commands are pretty much exactly what we'd think they would be. They're commands that automatically run when the air power is powered on. We can see that there is a startup command already on my air power, but we're going to clear it. So I would recommend backing these up if you are doing this. So next, as explained in the previous step, we're going to clear out the startup commands. To do this, we do set startup commands clear. And then if we try to get the startup commands again, there aren't any. And now for the command to actually turn a coil on on the air power, set startup commands quote set coil zero semicolon quote. So this command is actually doing a few things all in one command. First of all, it's setting the startup commands to automatically run this command in quotes when it boots up. And secondly, the set coil zero automatically powers on coil zero or AKA coil one. Now we can unplug the air power and plug it into a USB-C charger. And if we put an iPhone in a very, very precise location, because of course it's only turning on one coil, as we can see, the air power actually works. And of course, we can charge other devices with the air power. If we put on some AirPod Pros, as we can see, it charges those too. And to top it all off, we can even charge a prototype iPhone 8 on a prototype air power. Now that's cool and all, but the thing is, air power has more than just one charging coil. Particularly, the prototype air power that I own has 22 in total. So how can we turn one of those on? Well, if we go back to the serial interface, we can get a little bit more information on how we can potentially do this. Because we have the set coil startup command already turning on, we can see that if we do get coils, it says that the output for coil zero or coil one shows on. We can also turn off this coil by doing set coil zero, but instead of doing set coil zero, what if we did a different number? Inputting 21 instead and then doing get coils, we can now see that coil 21, aka 22, is on. So now doing the same steps that we did earlier to mess with the startup commands, we can do coil 21 instead of coil 0. And now plugging the air power back into a USB-C charger, if we now put the iPhone on the opposite end of it, as we can see, it charges it. Now with all this being said, you may be wondering, why don't I just turn on two coils and have two devices charging at the same time? After all, air power was designed to be this wireless charging mat where you can just put multiple devices on it and it'll charge all of them. Well, yes, while that is true, you have to remember this is a prototype air power and prototype air powers have an extreme case of overheating, which happens when it charges devices. So theoretically speaking, could I maybe turn on multiple coils at the same time? Yes, and if I had multiple air powers and I could get them for extremely cheap prices, would I probably try it? Yes, but I really don't want to take a risk in needlessly destroying a piece of history. Because after all, that's what this is. The very fact that air power was cancelled because it specifically overheated, yet this one still works, is just absolutely amazing. And I'm glad to preserve this piece of history. Thank you for watching my video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, I actually have an entire prototype playlist on my channel, which is currently being shown. Please also consider leaving a like 
and maybe even subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I hope you have a great day.